Coon, Senator Blackburn. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Judge. Thank you for your time today. We appreciate this, as we do all the nominees that are here. Um, let me ask you this. Does the Constitution allow the government to forbid religion in the public square? Uh, thank you, Senator Blackburn, for that uh, question. Um, uh, the First Amendment, of course, protects the right to okay. uh, free exercise uh, and also has uh, limits uh, the Establishment Clause as well. So how would you define unconstitutional viewpoint discrimination under the First Amendment? Uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, if I'm faced with an issue related to the First Amendment, uh, I carefully study the Supreme Court precedent and uh, the circuit precedent, binding circuit precedent, and apply it to the facts okay. of well, that let's case. Let's talk about Knights of Columbus versus Rehoboth Beach. Uh, the city allowed secular displays for Christmas on public property, but prohibited religious displays specifically because they were religious. So does this constitute unconstitutional viewpoint discrimination? Thank you, Senator. You're referring to a case I decided about a year ago as a trial court uh, judge, and I would first say I'm not sure that it's likely that a religion issue would come before the federal circuit, but it has come before me as a district court judge, and in that case, uh, which moved very quickly, uh, the city of Rehoboth modified uh, the, re the provision at issue, and so uh, I found that the uh, dispute was both moot and unripe, and therefore I did not need to reach the First Amendment issues. Uh, okay. Um, well, you had two matters that dealt with mootness, correct? One involved the city of Rehoboth Beach and the Establishment Clause, and another involved Wilmington Housing Authority and the Second Amendment. In both of these cases, you ruled that these matters were moot after the state authority in each case revised the policies that the plaintiffs took issues with. So explain to me why the doctrines of capable of repetition but evading review and voluntary cessation should not have applied in these cases. Well, thank you, Senator Blackburn. Uh, the Wilmington housing case was a second amendment case. Um, uh, and in that case, I found, I believe, mootness only with respect to the provision that had been modified after the Supreme Court issued its decision in Heller. Uh, my case was filed before the Heller decision came out, and uh, Wilmington Housing, I believe, changed uh, their regulations in light of Heller. And so I did not find mootness with respect to the challenge to the revised post-Heller uh, decision. Okay, so do you agree with the Supreme Court that the Second Amendment is a civil right? Thank you, uh, Senator. The Supreme Court has said that the right to bear and keep arms in the Second Amendment is a fundamental right. They said that in Heller and McDonald, and I follow binding Supreme Court precedent on that. So and other than the right to keep and bear arms, can you think of any other constitutional right whose exercise depends on the discretionary issuance of a license by a local official. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator. If an issue like that came before me, I would have to consider what the binding Supreme Court and circuit precedent so were. Why is this right, the Second Amendment right, singled out for this kind of restriction? Uh, thank you, uh, Senator. Um, as a sitting federal judge, uh, I'm not uh, permitted to comment on uh, the merits of issues that are pending in federal court right now. And it sounds to me like the issue that you're asking about may be part of what was argued to the Supreme Court uh, in this term. Whatever the Supreme Court says in that or any other case, I will faithfully and diligently apply to whatever cases come before me, whether I remain a district court judge or whether I'm fortunate to be confirmed to the Court of Appeals. Okay, let's, uh, I'm going to run out of time, so I will ask you to give me this in writing, um, because I want to know what your approach is to statutory interpretation, and I would like to know if, in looking at that, if you always start with the text, and then, 
uh, I do want to know if you believe that the meaning of the Constitution changes over time. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I will yield back. 